kids, kids, I have wonderful news. What is it? Tomorrow, we're starting a new semester in Sunday school, and Pastor Smith wants me to write lessons about the music of God's family, the hymns of the church. There are so many songs, I'm going to need all of you to help. You mean we gotta go look up stuff in books about a bunch of old music? Old? Oh, oh. We're talking history here. And that's what makes this so exciting. These are songs that helped shape the church and came from the hearts of the people who loved God, our brothers and sisters, even if they did live hundreds of years ago. Wow! Think of it. We'll get to learn about the songs and the people who wrote them. I think it sounds like fun. It yeah. will be. The music of God's family is our heritage and history. The music of God's family is part of who we are. The music of God's family is our You mean a bulwark. What's a bulwark? Something very strong and big. Oh! A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. A helper beyond the flood, a mortal is prevailing. You mean three persons, like the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh! God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Fair is Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature. Oh, the of God and man.
faculty? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? That doesn't leave us enough time, does it? Yeah. Research for a Sunday school project has got to take weeks. There are songs to learn, people to study, libraries to visit. There's no way to do this on time. But if we don't do it, Sunday school might be really boring this year. I say we accept defeat and settle for calling more diddles. Now, wait a minute. I have something up my sleeve. There's nothing up your sleeve, Salty. <laughs> it's just a saying, Hannah. And what I mean is, a few days ago, when Pastor Smith asked me to do this hymns project, I agreed to it without thinking how much time it would really take. Suddenly, a light bulb went on in my head. I'll invent something that'll stretch time. An invention? A new invention? What new invention? Well, <clears throat> it seems I'm always running out of precious, valuable time. And when I knew we'd be late with our project, well, frankly, blow the deadline, my wheels upstairs started turning. My imagination started to spin. I've got to invent an invention to get us out of the mess that we're in. So I pondered and puzzled and saw in my mind something that I've never seen. It was colorful, angular, different with movement, a real clean machine. There were clocks of all shapes and sizes, grandfather's cuckoo's alarms, digital watches and sundials, and calendars long as your arm. It was then that I first came to realize that my vision was not just a dream. I'd invented a magnificent, multi-phasic, take your time machine. The magnificent, multi-phasic, take your time machine. We'll stretch each valuable moment when your time is running lean. If ever you're in a jam for time, don't pull your hair and scream. Just use the magnificent, multi-phasic, take your time machine. The magnificent, multi-phasic, take your time machine. Consider the possibilities when you're late for work or school, or late for a date or behind in your chores, and the consequences are cruel. It's then that you need a machine like this to give you that extra hour. You need more time to put groceries away to make sure the milk doesn't sour. If you're fixing your bike and the sun's going down or losing your boat with the tide, when you're playing a game with the kids in the yard and there's no time to seek only hide, can you see how handy a contraption would be that could give you the time that you need? When the bell rings at school, you could crawl like a snail. There'd really be no cause to speed. And that is why I stayed up all night to perfect the vision I'd seen. To invent the magnificent multi-phasic take your time. Machine. The magnificent multi-phasic Take your time machine We'll stretch each valuable moment When your time is running lean If ever you're in a jam for time Don't pull your hair and scream Just use the magnificent multi-phasic Take your time machine The magnificent multi-phasic Take your time machine We'll stretch each valuable moment on this one. I love all the dials and switches. What does this button do? Don't touch anything, Hannah. I haven't tested it yet. Too late. I already pushed it. What's happening? Something's wrong. Look at the date on the digital dial. It's going backwards. This machine isn't stretching time. It's going back in history. Oh, I was trying to make a take your time machine. And by accident, I've invented a, a time machine. We're going farther and farther back into history, Salty. Look, we just passed the Middle Ages. There's the star of Bethlehem. We're going back in time before Jesus was born. Oh, I think we're stopping. The digital calendar says it's the year 1075 BC. Ooh, we're in a green pasture with a lot of cuddly sheep. There's the shepherd. Look, he's playing a harp. That must be King David when he was a boy. Uh, excuse me. Who goes there? Salty, the singing songbook, and the kids praise kids. Are you Philistines? No, 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 no. We're friends, and you can put your slingshot down. Okay. I hear the Philistines have a giant on their side who's defying the armies of the living God. I'm gonna get him someday.
You are very good on that harp, David. Thanks. I'm writing a song so I can sing it from my heart to the Lord. We sing from our hearts to the Lord, too. You do? Then let's sing it together. Come on, I'll teach it to you. My dad, I gotta go. I just got an idea. I wonder if we can set the date on the Take Your Time Machine's digital calendar ahead to the year 1005 BC. We'll visit David's son, King Solomon. He built a great temple for the Lord, and according to the Bible, the music and the worship were awesome. The digital calendar's set, Salty. Good. Jam on the button and let's see what happens. It's working! Here we go! Kids, we're at the dedication of Solomon's Temple. Now let me see. It says here in the Bible, if I can find it in 2 Chronicles. Um, yeah, here it is. All the Levites who were musicians, Asaph, Heman, Jaduthan, and their sons and relatives stood on the east end of the altar, dressed in fine linen, playing cymbals and harps. There they are! And they were accompanied by 120 priests blowing trumpets. Wow! I will sing to the Lord with all of my heart. I will bless him the rest of my days. I will dwell in the house of the Lord my God, and forever I'll sing of his praise. For he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. For he 
They must be spies! After them! Salty, tell them we're not spies! We're friends! No time to explain now! We better get out of here! Quick! Change the date on the digital dial! It's stuck! It won't move! The power level is at zero! They're getting closer, Salty! We have to plug in and recharge! We're really in trouble now! There's no electricity in 1000 BC! Salty! They're almost here! I just remembered. It's got an emergency battery. I put it in one of the clocks. Oh, which clock? I don't remember. Oh, this whole thing is... <laughs> That's it. It's in the cuckoo clock. Switch over to battery power and we're out of here. There they are. Get them. Just in the nick of time. Where are we going? The date on the digital calendar says 1741 AD. Hmm. That's about the time of Charles Wesley. Looks like we're in a print shop. Smell the ink? Hello, may I help you? I'm Salty, the singing songbook, and these children are my friends. We sing together. Singers! Perfect, I was just printing up another song by Charles Wesley. He's written thousands, you know, and this one doesn't quite take up all the space on my printer. So I've added the word Alleluia to each line. Would you mind singing it for me so I can hear how it sounds? Hit it, kids! I think the addition of Alleluia is perfect in that song. Don't you think so, too? It's yeah, terrific. I, like I love it. it. Leave it in. Here, Mr. Songbook, I'm giving you the first printing of this song for your pages. Oh, thank you all for helping out. Oh, oh, sure. Sure. Bye, Mr. Printer. So, Charles Wesley first wrote that song without the Alleluia, and the printer added it later. I really like learning about the stories behind the hymns. Can we do some more? Salty, all the clock alarms are going off. Oh, the tide must be changing. The Take Your Time Machine is aligned with the phases of the moon and alerts me every time the tides change. Hmm, ocean tides. That gives me an idea. Let's set the dial to take us to John Newton's church in London, England in the year 1780. He wrote the hymn Amazing Grace. What do ocean tides have to do with John Newton? You'll see. Here we are. Who's the man preaching in the pulpit? Is that Fig Newton? <laughs> Not Fig Newton. John Newton. This is his church. He's the pastor here. Why is he wearing a sea captain's coat? Listen. I used to be the captain of a ship that carried slaves from Africa to America. It was shameful, despicable work overseeing human cargo. But I found Jesus as my savior, and I left that terrible work and gave my life to preaching the gospel. God had mercy on my soul. Oh, amazing grace that saves a wretch like me. 
Sing the song with me. behind Amazing Grace? Every song has a story for how it was written. Some songs come from happy times, and some are born out of hard times. When the slaves came to America, they had hard times for sure. That's when a whole new kind of music called spirituals was born. Spirituals came from the hearts of slaves crying out to God. The Take Your Time Machine is blowing bubbles all over the church. Uh-oh. I didn't have any transmission fluid, so I used dishwashing detergent instead. Now look, there are bubbles everywhere. We gotta get the Take Your Time Machine out of here. Let's go to where we can hear some of those spirituals. Okay. I'll set the dial to bring us to a tent meeting in 1820 A.D. What are we gonna do, Brother Ted? The musicians haven't shown up yet. I don't know, Brother Fred, but there are 500 people in that tent waiting for the service to start. What's that? I don't know. They're very different looking. Then they must be the musicians. Hurry up. Hurry up now, you're late. Everybody's waiting for the music to start. Salty, they've got us mixed up with somebody else. What are we gonna do? We're gonna sing. Quick, find the spiritual medley in my pages and let's go.
through your pages for the spiritual medley, I saw the name Fanny Crosby over a hundred times. Who's she? Actually, Fanny Crosby wrote over 6,000 hymns. She, too, learned how to praise the Lord in her own special situation. She was blind. She was also friends with several presidents of the United States, and she was the first woman to ever address Congress. Can we go see her, Salty? Can we? Okay, can we go? Hmm... I don't know if we have enough power left in the battery. Oh, well. Let's give it a try anyway. Set the dial for 1905 A.D. at the White House in Washington, D.C. Is that her over there, Salty? The lady with the little American flag? Yep, that's her. She always carried an American flag and a Bible in her purse. Are you Miss Fanny Crosby? Why, bless your dear soul. Yes, I am. I'm Becky. We're studying all about you for our Sunday school project. You're learning about me? Yes. Could the kids and I sing some of your songs for you? I would be honored. Praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. 
dear souls, children. What a treat. Miss Crosby, the president will see you now. I have to go. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Bye, 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 Bye Miss Crosby. Kids, quick, get on the time machine. What's wrong, Softy? Set the dial for the day we left. I think the battery's almost out of juice. Listen to the clocks. They're slowing down and speeding up. Push the button, quick. I did already. We aren't going anywhere. The clocks are really going cuckoo now. <laughs> Oh, no! The time machine is all ticked out! Does that mean we're stuck? In 1905? You mean we can't get home? Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Wait, so I'd give anything to see my family again. I promise I'll never be mean to my sister. I'll even give her my solar watch! Solar watch? Davy, do you have a solar watch? Yes. Quick, give it to me. If I can hook it up to the time machine sundial, which is connected to the microwave reversal that's connected to the over-under inside-out power drive, we just might be able to get enough energy to boost this thing back to real time. One more connection. And there. Okay, aim the watch at the sun. Hit the button! Yeah. Oh, really? It's working! Yeah. Hooray, it's the Lord. Lord. It's Hooray the Lord! Hooray the Lord! It's working! Now what's wrong? Uh, the sun went behind a cloud. I wonder what year it is. The digital dial says it's 1955. Salty, look. There's a little blue book over there. He looks a lot like you. And this is the house where I grew up. Say, you're a big blue book. When I grow up, I'm going to be a big blue book, just like you. Right now, I'm just a little pamphlet. <laughs> What's your name? Salty. Salty? You're me when I was a booklet. Huh? Uh, never mind. My mom's inside sewing me a bunch of new pages, some old hints from long ago. She says it'll help round me out. She sewed one in already. Want to see it? Sure. Take my life and let it be. I have that song in my pages, too. You do? Yes. I learned it when I was your age. It was a very important song in my life. Why? God used it to work in my heart, to dedicate my life to serving Him. And I've been serving Him ever since. Can you teach it to me? I don't know it yet. I'd love to. my life and let it be consecrated Lord to thee take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love at the Thy love.
what, mister? I want to serve the Lord just like you. You do? But I want to do something different. I want to be a kid's songbook and go all around the world and tell kids how much Jesus loves them and teach them all about worship and praise and hymns and hers and all that stuff. <laughs> I have a funny feeling you're going to do just that. Salty, come inside now. It's time for your singing lesson. Coming, Mama. Bye, everybody. Maybe I'll see you around and we can praise the Lord together again sometime. Bye, Bye everybody. See you around. Now how are we going to get home? No problem. There's electricity in 1955. We'll just plug in the magnificent multi-phasic take-your-time machine and get going. This was fun, Salty. It I sure was. was. We'll have to come back sometime and learn about more hymns and composers. Yeah. yeah! What did you kids like the most about our journey into history? I liked Fanny Crosby and her little flag. Bless her dear soul! <laughs> <laughs> Seeing David as a shepherd was cool. I liked Solomon's temple. It was awesome. Yeah, that was rad. Salty, I can't make up my mind. I liked everything. Me too. Seeing the commitment and dedication of the hymn writers all through history has really encouraged me. The music from other times and other peoples may sound different. But when it comes from the heart, it's all praise. And it's still praise today. What a wonderful heritage we have. What a wonderful God. <gasps> We're back in the worship workshop. And we've got plenty of information for our Sunday School project now. Praise the Lord. <laughs>